Hello everyone! Today we're going to be looking at how to install mods for Sonic Adventure 2 and the Chao Garden. Uh, the big thing you need before you get mods for Sonic Adventure 2 is you need to download the SA2 mod loader. You can see the page here, the link's up here at the top too. I'll also have a link in the description. But this is on Game Banana, SA2 mod loader. It's essential, it's uh, basically what gets uh, the mods to work properly, and allows them to work with your game. So make sure you download this. There's also some required downloads here. You can see there's a uh, a few different links here that you need to uh, click and download. It's all stuff related to Microsoft. So to be honest, I don't actually know specifically what each one of these do, but I do know you need them. Also, hopefully uh, my cat isn't distracting you too much here. She's meowing in the background. But anyways, so make sure you download all of these and the required downloads. You can see there's a few different links here. Make sure you get those. Uh, if you don't have all of these, it will not work for you. So then after that, you can click manual download here. Then it opens up this window here, and file, we click download, and uh, you can just see basically a whole bunch of other mods I've tried to download here at some point. But we'll just download it to the downloads folder. And so that gives us a, uh, a zip file here. Let me open that up. Boo's being a little bit noisy today, sorry about that. But um, so here's, uh, once you open it up in WinRAR, something that hopefully most of you already have is WinRAR, it's W-I-N-R-A-R. It's uh, how you open up zip files mostly. But so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take all of this here, the mod loader files, the ones that open in that zip we just got, and you're going to drag them into your Sonic Adventure 2 uh, folder here. So how to get to the Sonic Adventure 2 folder, it might be downloaded in a slightly different spot on your PC, I'm not too sure exactly where everyone downloaded it. But for me personally, I go through my hard drive that I have everything saved, then I go program files uh, times 86, and then there should be an option for Steam, Steam apps, common, Sonic Adventure 2, and then you'll get this folder here. It won't have the mods, it won't have programming. I'm already, I'm basically not gonna actually download this because I already have all these installed, but what you'll do is just simply just drag these, take them, and drag them over here. I'm not gonna actually do it though because I already have it installed. So that's how you get the mod, uh, mod loader or mod manager. And then after uh, you've dragged it over, you'll notice you got this little icon here. We'll open that up. So you can see here's what the mod manager or the mod loader looks like. You can see I've already got a whole bunch of mods installed. But um, so at this point, if you downloaded that, all of that correctly, you should be able to open the mod loader and it should be in your folder here. Personally, my Sonic Adventure 2 folder, I usually actually uh, will kind of create a shortcut on my like desktop using this here. So it's a little bit easier to access when you're downloading mods and uh, yeah, because honestly, going through all of these uh, these files here takes a little while. So I usually keep it on my desktop just to speed things up a little bit. But there you go, you've got the mod uh, loader. That's like the hardest part, honestly. And then from here, let's go back. We got uh, Child World Extended 9.4.1. I actually will be installing this one because I don't actually currently have this version of Child World Extended on here. So to do this one, you don't have to download anything extra like with the mod loader. You just have to straight up download the file. So let's scroll all the way to the bottom here. Yeah, I'll show you how to download Child World Extended, and then I'll kind of briefly go over how to do other mods too, but I don't actually know if I'll install any other ones for this video. But if you go to the very bottom of the description, here we go. So there's manual download. You can do one-click install with the mod loader. To be honest, this feature's never worked properly for me, but there is a way. I think there's something you gotta do with setting up the mod loader. I don't have it set up properly, but anyways, I always just do manual download. And then download here, click on that uh, green download button. We'll just save it to the downloads folder again, nice and easy. Man, this is gonna take a couple of minutes for it to download for me, so we'll use the magic of editing to speed this up. All right, so there we go. That took a few minutes to download, but we got that good. So just like with the mod loader, we'll open it up in our downloads folder. We'll open with Rinrar, and here we go. So Child World Extended, nice. We got this uh, folder here, and we're gonna do pretty much the exact same thing we did with the other one. We're gonna open up our Sonic Adventure 2 folder here, except this time we're gonna go into mods. And then it's these ones you drag into the mods folder, not the uh, the big Chow World Extended one here. So this might be an issue if you're having uh, problems with your Chow World Extended not working. Make sure you're dragging these folders, not the big one like I just was, because I uh, was messing that up. That's why my version was not updating. But now we've got the mod loader open here. You can see we've got version 9.41 for Chow World Extended, which is the newest version. So let's uh, open up this game now and actually play on the proper newest version of Chow World Extended not on the old one. So let's quickly open that up. And again, the biggest way, or the quickest way to double check that your game uh, like update is working there for Child World Extended is just to load in. You can see Extended Child World 
Got that extra text right there. And that's how you know you've got uh, the mods working. So let's go into the shop. If I've got the newest version, the black market should be looking. Yeah, there we go. We got a timer there. It's looking different. Wow, okay. Yeah, this is, uh, this is one of the features in the newest update. I think this was the biggest change that they made. So that's how you install your mods for Sonic Adventure 2 on the PC. It's really not all that hard. I hope this guide uh, helped you out with that. But one other thing I'll quickly go over is the codes uh, for these mods. For Chatworld Extended in the mod loader here, you can click this configure button and it opens up another menu with a whole bunch of codes for the game. I would really take some time and go through each of these and uh, kind of decide how you want to play Chow Garden. There's a lot of different codes here that really change the overall Chow experience. Uh, there's some codes that make the game easier, some that make it harder, some that add extra features that aren't initially in it, like, uh, let's see, like stronger chaos drives, I guess that's more of a cheating one, but like a dynamic lifetime that changes uh, how Chow age. The Chow counter is super helpful, I love this one, it's basically, you can see it on the screen here, if you pause, uh, it basically shows how many Chow are in the garden. But uh, there's a whole bunch of awesome codes here, I highly recommend you look through and, uh, pick out some cool codes for your game and uh, configure your game to be the way you like it. And here's a, a slow rundown of all the mods I have currently installed for the game. I'd highly recommend uh, Chow World Extended Enhanced Chow World. These are the two mods I'd probably uh, most strongly recommend. The Character Select mod's also really cool. And let's see what else stands out. The Chow Camera and Chow Gameplay mod I use a lot for my YouTube channel. I think they're both pretty cool. And then here are some other mods. Uh, a lot of these are just texture ones that I don't use very regularly. But uh, yeah, that's about all the mods that I run on my playthrough. And uh, for my main Chow Garden series, really, anyways. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you uh, finally get mods in your Sonic Adventure 2 game. And hopefully you could troubleshoot some of the issues you might have had. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, I'll try and do my best to help you out. I'm not an actual mod developer by any means, but I'll still try and help you out the best I can. And uh, if you're really interested in the Chow Garden mods and want to learn more, consider checking out my Chow Garden series. I stream pretty regularly uh, playing Chow Garden with these mods. So if you've got any questions, you can stop by a stream. Or uh, if you want to see some mods in action and uh, see what they're like before you actually download them, you can also check out the stream there because I've got uh, all the mods here that you can see on this mod loader installed. But thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and uh, consider subscribing if you really liked it. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. See you.